Hey, Ben Baxter here back in the Angler's All Fly Tying Studio. Today we're gonna tie up a variation of the semi-seal leech with a tungsten bead head on a jig hook. Right, we're starting with a XC400BL from Umqua, along with a 3.2 mil matte black bead. And this is 100 denier or six aught nano silk thread from Semperfly. Just gonna go ahead and start our thread right here behind the bead. I'm gonna wrap my thread back to the bend of the hook here. At least where it starts right there. Got a marabou plume here you can see there's a little bit of a tip there so i'm actually going to trim that out because i don't always like how that looks at the end but it also doesn't really take away from the taper of the feather gonna go about an inch and a half back on the quill maybe two and we're just working with the tip of the feather there. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim that. So this is meant to be a pretty slim fly, so I don't wanna build up a whole lot of bulk. I'm gonna take about one and a half or so of the hook shank somewhere around there. Let's do a little pinch wrap. And then as I'm wrapping forward, I'm kind of holding the marabou there so it doesn't twist on me a whole lot. And then come back and kind of pinch it down on the top again. I'll trim this out. that up just a smidge. And if you wanted this heavier, you could obviously do some lead wraps or something along those lines underneath the body or just right behind the, the bead there. So I'm gonna start a dubbing loop here. the old dubbing loop tool from Stonfo and last material is the Arizona semi seal from MFC I'm just laying out some clumps you don't want this to be too thick really kind of want it to be sparse. Throw a little bit of dubbing wax in there. Don't need much of that either. Just enough to grip. Like I said, this thread is pretty slick just by nature. So especially with a synthetic material of hard to get it to grip the way you want it to so I'm gonna add you can kind of see how I've laid out these little clumps of the dubbing again pretty pretty sparse amount Spin that up. I'm just picking some of this out before I wrap it. And as I wrap, we're gonna palmer it back so it doesn't 
bite down too much on itself and we can pick this all out at the end again too. Don't want too tight of wraps. Again, same thing, just trying to stay sparse with the, the dubbing in the pattern. doesn't look great at the moment but once we pick this all out it'll make a little more sense to you how it's supposed to look in the end and I'm gonna do one more real close wrap behind that I have a little extra in there which is fine I'd rather have a little extra than have to do a whole nother dubbing loop trim a taper into this. And last but not least, we're gonna do our whip finishes. Again, pretty sparse pattern. My eyeballs are not liking how long that is, so I'm gonna trim a little bit more. Again, you can brush this all out and trim again if you're really particular about it. You don't have to. I'm sure the pattern will swim just fine without trimming it up. Uh, but there it is, that's the semi-seal leech. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, subscribe, check us out on YouTube, Instagram, and keep an eye out for more videos.